Hello and welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy, And I'm Sadie from Hip and Healthy. And you're joining us for another special Pilates flow. Today we're focusing in on the neck and the shoulders, often an area of lots of stress and tightness for many of us, those of us in the office, crouched over our devices. And the minute you start to release it, you're gonna get amazing blood flow, not just to the brain, but to the skin, to the face. And we're gonna find a new glow for you guys and a beautiful open posture. What do you need? just a mat on the floor today but if you are tighter in the hamstrings you could grab a cushion or a pillow but it's not essential so come on down to the mat Sadie thank you and we're gonna start right away with some lovely breaths and a little bit of opening for the shoulders so come and lay all the way down always checking that your center on this silver linings mat we have a little line but if you don't have that at home just check that you are in the middle of your mat reach the arms long by your side bend your knees and place the nice and hip socket width apart and just feel the whole spine Ah, <sighs> arrive on the mat, beautiful. So we're gonna start with some breath and arm work right away. Just feeling the spine nice and neutral, abdominals lightly activated. Reaching the arms up to the sky, inhaling deeply. As you exhale, reach overhead, but not all the way to the floor, Sadie, beautiful. Inhale, reach back up to the ceiling. And exhale, press the air down, bringing hands all the way down. And as you do so, let's open the collarbones and lengthen the back of the neck, very nice. Inhale, draws the arms up. As you exhale this time, reach a little further and see if you can keep those abdominals scooping deeper, ribs under control. Inhale, draw fingertips to the sky. Exhale, press the air down and as you do so, again, opening the collarbones, wide shoulders on the mat. Let's take two more like so, deep inhalation. And on the exhale, think of wringing out every last drop of oxygen. Feel those shoulders connect to the mat. Beautifully done. Good. Inhale, lift on up. And I should say at this point that everything should feel good in your body. So whatever we do today, make sure it feels good. If it doesn't, take a break, take a moment. Last time, inhale up. Hopefully this feels really good. <laughs> exhale overhead. Uh -huh. This hit in particular. Oh, if you, this was all you did today? That would be perfect, that would be enough. <laughs> Inhale, grow on up. I give you permission. Exhale all the way down, good. And from there, we'll take those knees one by one to the chest, just take a little hug, and we're gonna go ahead and come into my favorite neck releasing ab warm up. So feet come back down, bring the hands behind your neck, and I'm gonna show this on screen. My hands are just at the base of the spine, hand over hand, so you have little feathers. Oh, have you got little feathers? Beautiful. Okay, so we start by drawing the elbows in and around your head. Now that's very unusual for Pilates, mm. but I'm gonna show you why. You're now gonna curl up and let your head sink into your hands. Do you feel a little stretch on the back of your neck? Heavy head, mm. let it sink into your hands. Keep that going and slowly release back to the mat. Keep the elbows wrapping in and feel the stretch. So you're giving yourself traction and then let the elbows drop wide. This time, curl up with the elbows wide, so a normal curl, feel the abs connect, then draw the elbows around your head, let your head go heavy and curl, exhaling all the way back to the mat. Oh, and it feels so good. Wide elbows, this is my favorite go-to if my neck is stiff. So if I've woken up with a funny crick in my neck, this is the way to fix it. Exhale all the way down. So your hands are almost like a little kind of lasso around the base of the spine and it's allowing, or the base of the skull I should say, and that allows that release. Beautiful. And you're curling every inch higher every time. Good. Let's do one more because we're going to go straight into 100. <laughs> Come all the way up. Curl the elbows in. Beautiful release of the head. So allow that moment of weightiness. Yes, if that's a word. Exhale all the way down. Good. And then shoot the arms long by your side. We're going to come into our hundred and remember if your neck is sensitive, you can keep it resting the whole time. Draw your knees one by one up to tabletop. Find that squeeze of the inner thighs. Draw the arms above the abdominal wall. Now if you're ready for a challenge, you could lengthen your legs to three quarters or full extension. Keep the head resting and start to pump the air. Head resting and we pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Squeeze, exhale, two, three, four, five and in. Now it's all about the breath. There is no head lift. You can come to tabletop, so all good choices. Yes, it's in. Pump, 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 and X. Now, when I said we were gonna get blood flow, ooh, yeah, this is how we do it. So Sadie's gonna go nice and pink. Uh-huh, it's bringing blood to your chest, to your neck, to your head, to your brain. Good, you've got four more sets, I would say. Squeezing the knees, making sure legs stay nice and buoyant. Wherever you've chosen, you can always come back if you need to scale back, right? Good, 
three more sets and in, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, rest. Now, if you did want to lift the head for the last couple of sets, you can. Uh, you're still going. Oh, oh there's a hundred of those. <laughs> Did I mention? That's why it's called 100. Good, and last one. In, two, three, four, five, exhale. Two, three, four, and rest. Good job, hug your knees to your chest. I'm gonna give Sadie a little extra love. And then nod your head side to side, so just ease out the neck muscles where you're keeping maybe a little bit of strain if you lifted it. Go ahead and draw your hands behind your knees. In one smooth movement, rock up to seated. Oh, okay, so. And we are gonna move from here into our neck supported stretches. So you're gonna twizzle around for me and just sit forwards. So we've warmed up a little bit and I feel like now is a good time to be taking these stretches. They're my favorite sequence. You're gonna draw this hand up, catch the outside of your ear, and this hand can just reach along and just ground to the floor and sit up tall. So just fingertips perhaps. And then tilt your head across. Wah, and you feel this beautiful radiating stretch down the outside of the neck. Now the taller you can sit, if you're not comfortable sitting cross-legged by the way, you can always sit with legs long or even against a wall, it's all good. Now tilt your chin, I'll show you all this. Tilt your chin down towards your armpit, slide your hand round a little and you get this, oh, other stretch. The other stretch is, can feel really extreme. So mm. go to a place where you get 80% of your stretch, not 100% of your stretch, right? You always want to work within comfortable boundaries. Don't go to pain, okay? Got a couple more breaths. And then you can bring both hands behind the head right where they were for that warm up. Let the elbows drop around the head, chin to chest, and just take an easy couple of breaths. You are not pulling with the hands. You're just allowing the weight of the hands to give you that gorgeous stretch. And then we can track that by lifting the spine, the chest, the gaze, opening the heart. So if you can remember this whole sequence, do it a couple of times with us, then you can do it at your desk. Let's go to the other side. So other hand creeping out, hand by your ear, it's tilting sideways. So the whole body stays upright. It's only the head and the neck getting the stretch. Beautiful. <sighs> Feels so good, doesn't it? And then when you're ready in your own time, and you can do as many breaths as you like, you're gonna tilt the chin down onto that diagonal as though you were looking into this armpit. Yeah, and slide your hands slightly further back. And you might want to play with that positioning, but I feel the stretch radiate right out to this pointy bit, right at the corner of your shoulder, and then you lift up to all beautiful. Good. Yeah, you've got it. Right it. Yeah, exactly. And it might feel really quite almost sore. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Once you come back to center, take a minute just to kind of ease out the head, swing the legs around, and we're gonna bring them. Knees together, feet together, hands behind the knees if you want more support, or Sadie's nice and strong, you could reach those arms forward. Good, for the half roll back, we're gonna go nice and flowing. Come on forward, curl your chin to your chest. Now you're drawing your knees together, inhale, start to curl back. Good with the shoulders, she did a nice little press down. So imagine I'm there, you can press down onto my hand. And then exhale, curl forward, three, two, one. Inhale, roll back. Now this is just a spinal mobility thing, but throughout, I want you to see if you can work with a long neck and the curled shoulders pressing down, yes? Good, inhale back. Exhale forward, three, two, one. And you want to go to that deepest point where you can feel a little shake, a little shimmer going on in those abs, hollowing in and up. Exhale forward, three, two, one. We're gonna go for three more, so getting a little flow now. Hopefully with a newly released neck. <laughs> Good, and last one, float all the way to the mat. You can always use the hands on the sides of the thighs to give you a little support. And when you land, again, just a little neck roll side to side. Make that a habit if this is an area of tightness for you. Good, walk the feet back in a little bit for me, Sadie, and hug your right knee to your chest. We're gonna go for those leg circles. So no stress here for the back or the neck, but lots of work in your ab and lots of release for the hips. So leg goes as long as it can, arms by your side, Press them into the floor. Mm. Got Sorry. a stable base now, good Got job. It. We're gonna circle that leg like you're stirring a big pot into your center, across, around and stop. Your goal is to have totally still hips and deep core activity. I'm letting go, you've got three more. whoop -a. It's yeah, really she's up. hard not it's to wobble the so other leg. It's so hard. I know, the other leg wants to do its little kind of chicken dance. Nope, none of that. <laughs> Last one. Can you reverse your circles? So it goes open around, stop at the top. No chicken dance. Open around, stop at the top. Uh -huh. I know, it's tricky, isn't it? So maybe your circle has to get smaller today. And one day, it's going to go 90, 90, 90, 90, I promise. But, you know, I not today. I forward to that day. Yeah, it's going to be great. Then circle around and then hug to the knee. I'll show you later. So place that foot to the mat. 
draw the other knee in, give it a little hug. And whilst you do so, maybe open out those collarbones again. So reset the neck alignment so it's optimal. Go ahead and lengthen the legs as long as you can today, and then press the arms by your side. Beautiful, we circle in, across, around, stop at the top. Now we already know about the chicken dance, but ah, oh, you have to really fire up that supporting side, don't you, for three more. So maybe it's a tiny circle for two more, but it's a true supported circle from your core. Are you breathing? Ah, uh -huh, you're circling the other way for five. We've got five beautiful guys. Well done at home as well, four more. Nice. You've got three. Ooh, she's so strong. You've got two. <laughs> I know. And last one. Hug that leg in. Draw the other knee to the chest. Now, this is where things get a little spicy. We've got the series of five abdominals. We're going to do all five today, but I'm going to show you how we modify. If you're sensitive in the neck, keep the head resting the whole time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach Sadie five with the head resting, five with the head lifted. That way she gets a little bit of both. See, you can play with those ratios, right? Bring both hands over the right knee. Curl the head, neck and shoulders up. Oh no, rest your head. Sorry. And then we're gonna exhale, I know, right? It's just classic. Exhale, reach the other leg out, hug the knee in. Inhale, switch, exhale, extend. Beautiful, so breath in to switch, exhale, long leg. Imagine you're sliding those legs along a little glass sheet. Beautiful. Aiming for 45 degrees, guys, no lower. Exhale. Now, can you lift the head, neck, and shoulders if you're ready? And we go on the flow. Inhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, exhale. Good, scoop for two, and exhale for two. Two more sets. So it's got its own rhythm. That breath is flowing. How's the neck? How are the shoulders? You got it. Last set. Beautiful, hug the knees to the chest and always rest the head all the way back roll the head side to side. So that's your classic ending to each of these. Double leg stretch, this is the fun one. Slide your hands halfway down your shin bones, elbows are wide, keep the head resting for the first five. Arms and legs shoot to make a V shape, so arms go forward, legs go forward. I don't know if my legs do that. Yeah, they do. <laughs> legs go forward, arms go back. That's position one, head resting. Okay. Arms go wide on two, they hug on three. So, legs and arms reach out on one, head is resting, arms go wide on two, Hug in on three, no head lift. Two more, in reach on one, we'll try that again. Wide on two, exhale, hug on three. Beautiful, last time, inhale, reach on one. Wide on two, now if you want to, we're gonna flow them for five, maybe your head is lifting. Inhale, reach throughout, wide, exhale, hug, lift your head, head, head. Now hold it there, inhale, reach arms and legs wide. Arms go wide, hug the knees to chest. Beautiful, two more, inhale, reach, hollow deeper. Wide, squeeze your knees as you hug to center. Last time, good and you're done. Hug your knees, rest your head, roll your neck side to side. So as I say, you can play with lifting the head, not lifting the head, doing half and half, it's all good. Send the legs to the ceiling, keep the head resting. Keep the toes softly pointed, oh, we've got a shake on. Bring the hands behind the right thigh. So you want the belly of the thigh. If you're very flexible, you can hold the calf, but it's a lot. And then we draw one leg towards you, one leg away, like a pair of scissors. Pull, pull, switch on those abs, and switch the legs. Pull, pull, nice click. Pull, 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 pull. We're gonna do three more sets like so, aiming for long legs. We're not going to the floor with that leg. We are keeping it a small V. Last set, then you can lift the head and go for a little flow. We go, pull, pull, lift your head. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull. And that deeper, deepest, deeper, deepest. Two more, yeah, ha. last one. You got it, hug your knees to chest, rest back. Oh my goodness, we're halfway team. My shake well, actually, is only on. Two. The shake is on, it's real. <laughs> I told you it was gonna get spicy, so we're gonna get a little blood. That's all good, blood flow. We're gonna take the hands now and support the lower back. So I'm gonna make a little triangle of support and I should just be able to see your little manicure peeking out. So slide your hands down for me. Down, down, down. Bring them underneath and I can just see your fingertips and rest down. Does that feel like a little cushion? Yes. Beautiful, that's what I want to achieve. So draw your knees into your chest, find tabletop, and then send the legs three quarter length or fully extended at home, team. So you'll notice this is a tough position already. We're going to lengthen those legs only a couple of inches away from our center. Oh, that's challenging. And exhale, squeeze it back. And if you ever wondered where your pelvic floor is, this is how you find it. <laughs> squeeze your heels together. Inhale, reach it away. Oh, exhale, switch it back. No, you're doing so great. This is real time, right, guys? This is small range, super challenging. Don't judge my shaking. Oh, no, nobody is judging that. That is your muscles, your body changing. Two more. So strong. Good job. Last time and we rest. Release the feet to the floor, release your hands from captivity, give them a little shake, and that is you done. Series of four, 
we didn't quite do the crisscross. Why? Because it's really stressful actually on the neck. So we're gonna go straight to our spine stretch forward. Draw those knees to the chest, give yourself one beautiful rock up to seated and send the legs into a wide V shape. So the legs are just slightly wider than the mat. Notice today we're not using any props, but if you do want to sit on a cushion, on a towel, you can absolutely do that. Bend your knees and flex your feet and voila, you've arrived at somewhere achievable. So draw the arms forward, press down on an invisible glass table and see how long you can make your neck Mm -hmm. how wide you can make your collarbones. Do you feel that beautiful opening? Imagine you're arriving, I don't know, at the Oscars or something. Here we go. We're gonna lift up tall, inhale, grow tall. Now keep all of that length. Don't let the shoulders drive off the back as you curl forward. So as you curl forward, sliding the hands along, can we drop the shoulders down? Aha, thank you, Sadie. These are called your latissimus dorsi. We're gonna activate those guys. Inhale, stack up bone by bone. Exhale, go even taller, longer, wider, all the things. Nice, steady. Just three more. Inhale, go tall. So I want that space. Yeah, nice reminder. Now this is tough to learn, isn't it? We kind of have to teach our bodies to into test that the shoulders don't fly off the back. They stay, come with me, on the back. Aha, uh -huh. so if you can't see that at home on the screen, it's literally dropping those shoulders down and into the back. Good, nice with the breath. We go inhaling, exhaling, forward, 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 forward. Beautiful. Inhale, stack up bone by bone. Exhale, grow taller. Let's do one more for luck. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, curls you forward. Ah, beautiful. And inhale, stacks up. And from there, just sweep the hands behind you. Can you cross your legs for me? Maybe so you feel comfortable. And just interlace the hands and open the chest. And again, if you are in the office, if you are on a train, just that action of opening out the chest, breathing more into the heart center, finding that lift is gonna make you feel brilliant. Okay, Amazing. lovely. From there, we're gonna come into our saw. So tend the legs back out wide. And again, you've got that little bend in the knees. And this is a great exercise. So arms are gonna reach wide and you press down into my hands. Beautiful. We're going to twist this arm forward, one arm back, and you aim to cut off your little toe with your little finger, curling your chin forward. And we twist and reach for three. Nice big shoulder opening here, right? For two, for one, and then come tall in the center. Really nicely done. So you twist the other way, aiming little, finger towards little toe, it might not meet it today, that's okay, they're, ne they're nearly friends. Three, two, one, and come tall in the center, wide arms like a T-shape, beautiful. You twist from the waist like a lid off a jar. We curve, but we keep both sit bones grounded. Let your head release for me, Sadie, beautiful. Can you feel a lovely opening and twist for the middle back, mm. upper back and neck? Good, so this is this slow twisting action. It's also brilliant for your digestion. So great if you have any IBS or like symptoms. Good, let's go one more set, doing really well. So the sit bones are grounded and then you keep it grounded and we curl forward. And I'm assisting Sadie here a little bit, but you can probably feel at home just what a big rotation, a really healthy rotation. This is for your spine, your shoulders and your neck. Good, come tall in the center for a moment. Just find that momentary lift and gently release. Nicely done. Okay. That felt incredible. I've never done that move before. It's called the saw. It's amazing. Mm, it's really, it's nice. like it literally is dessert for your spine. Mm. So we're going to come all the way onto your front and we'll do a tiny little swan preparation. So come and lay onto your tummy. If your lower back is sensitive, you're going to keep the legs hip socket width apart. If your lower back feels good, you can squeeze the legs all the way together. Today, Sadie, we're going to place our hands behind the head. So right where we were for our warm up, do you remember? Mm -hmm. And just always hand over hand rather than the interlace. So just think about that little gentle cupping of the base of your spine. Again, I'm gonna just place, I mean like this, I'm gonna place an ice cube under your navel. So squeeze your legs together lightly. Inhale, lift just the abdominals. Now see if you can drive the shoulders down the back. Lift your elbows just off the mat and then hover your head and push it into your hands. So rather than sticking your chin forward, think of the back of your head pushing into your hands for three, push higher for two, push higher for one, and then lengthen and rest the elbows and head down. Do you feel like there's a lot of work going on mm -hmm. there, right? So it's a big stretch for the front body, big activation for the back body. Inhaling, exhale, abdominals lift first, initiate there, then start to hover elbows, head, heart, off the mat for three, chin down a little for me, Sadie. Yes, long neck for two, beautiful correction. Last one we lift, good at home, and then release with control. Okay, you've only got three more. Inhale, exhale, abdominals lift, 
Elbows go wide, shoulders are easy. We lift for three, we lift for two, we lift for one, and then we lengthen to return to the mat with control. Beautifully done, last two. There's that tiny waistline, you got it. Lift it all up for three, for two, for one, and release this last one. Do you want to be a rocket? You want to go to the moon? Let's do it. Let's do Inhale, it. exhale, come all the way up. Sweep your arms behind you, bring your palms to the sky. Imagine heavy weights right there. Lift your head and chest and heart, and we pulse for 10, nine, eight, beautiful, seven, squeezing, six, five, four, three, chin down a little, two, one, hold and release down. Go ahead and sit gently and slowly back to a child pose. Knees go wide as the mat, toes come together and your hands can press forward. Now, here's a special trick. If you turn your palms up and bring them a little wider, this is a beautiful release for your shoulders. Really nice one. So again, if the shoulders are feeling tight at home, really nice way just to create that opening. Breath in, breath out. Really, really nice. Okay, we're gonna shoot, uh, what are we going? We're gonna go to the sidekick series. So we're gonna lie on our sides. Let's come and lay on this side with your hand just underneath your head. I'm gonna come around and move your upper body back a bit. So the ideal at home is to use your mat as your guide. You're gonna move your shoulder, you okay there? Just shoulder, to, oh so yeah, sorry. move that around just a bit. Got to move it around. Techn technical moment, everybody. This is just a tech moment. <laughs> so you're gonna come and lay on your side with your shoulder towards the back edge of the mat. Now, if your neck is really sort of sensitive, mm -hmm. you can come down onto the arm like that. So it actually feels like a little pillow, which actually can feel more supportive. Move your hips back for me. And then like a banana, I'm gonna move those legs forward. Oh, now Sadie's already doing it. You naturally want to support your body. So the hand is six inches in front of the chest and you've got that lovely support from there. Good. So this is the classic side series. Why is it great? Because you're finding abdominals, but you're also finding a little chest work, mm -hmm. a little length. So if you put that hand right behind the head again, it's like traction. Mm -hmm. Flex your feet for me. All your favorites today. Come up with one leg. We're gonna kick it forward once. Kick it forward again, all oh, little hamstring stretch, and then send a long toe lengthening in line with your hip and you feel this lovely elongation. Flex your foot forward, kick, kick, and then send it long to me, beautiful breath. We in, in, and exhale. We in, in, and exhale. And you're not allowing that hip oh, 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 to move, no salsa, no rumba. Yes, Sadie, you've got three. Beautiful. You've got two, nice job. Last one, let's hold it at that longest position and do 10 little lifts, that's one, two, you get a lovely little glow right here, three, four, aha, uh -huh, five, deep in six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest the legs together. That's all, mm. we're gonna go to the second side. So Get notice right. no stressful neck tension, nothing going on there because it's all going on through the core. So it's a really nice supported way to do any of those side series that you might be familiar with or that you encounter in our bar classes. Just move the shoulder back for me, Asadi. So remember the back of the mat is your guide. Hips, head, all at the back, beautiful. And again, you could dial that elbow forward to rest all the way forward if that felt better for you. Bring the heels to the front of the mat, lift that top leg in line with the hip, no higher, no lower. We flex to kick it forward once. Oh, it's tight deep on this side. <laughs> okay, so honor that in the body, that is okay, Sadie. If you need to bend it a touch, that's okay. And then one day, little by little, it's gonna get longer. Longer legs, who doesn't want that? Mm. I mean, you have pretty long legs already. <laughs> okay, let's, be, let's be honest, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Kick, kick, and back. So remember, the breath is key to allowing that full pendulum-like movement without any stress or strain right up here in the upper body. Good, last two. Nice, and last one. And rest the legs together. Oh, hold it there. Oh, I've nearly forgot the best bit, the juicy bit. 10 lifts, 10, nine. Eight, long toe, seven, beautiful, six, gorgeous, control, four, three, two, and rest the legs together. Ooh. Last little bit, and it's not work, it's just gonna feel delicious. So you're gonna come all the way to all fours. Let's place those hands at the front of the mat for me, Sadie. How did that feel in your glutes? It felt great, little, actually. Little glute work, little glute work, which again, really supports the spine and the posture. So, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna take a couple of cat and cow, so just exhale, curl under. Inhale, ripple to lift. And remember, you're opening chest, gaze and heart. Imagine you had a Superman S on your chest bone. You're gonna shine it up. Yeah, beautiful. Exhale, curl under. Inhale, ripple. She is Superwoman. 
super person, whatever you want to be. Last one, exhale, good. Inhale, open. And then from here, find neutral spine for me, Sadie, and you're gonna float this arm all the way up to the sky, taking your gaze with it, and we're gonna thread the needle. So thread that arm through the gap, rest the ear, the side of the skull and the shoulder. One of my favorite ways, oh my gosh. It's just brilliant, isn't it, for your shoulder? neck Feels if you're really working good. a lot oh my gosh yeah so you can do this for a long while you can stay in it you could do a couple of breaths in and out we're just going to switch right away to the second side so when you're ready Sadie other arm sweeps taking that gaze high with it sliding through take your time with these spinal transitions I had a great teacher a master trainer who always said your spine is like an egg timer you want to really move mindfully with it don't just force it place, especially as we age, dare I say it. Good, and then come all the way back up. Come gently hooking the toes under, press the hips to the sky, and then gently walk the hands towards your feet, keeping the knees soft, keeping the feet parallel. Let the head go heavy. And right here, you're gonna catch the opposite elbow for me. Give your head a nod, give it a shake. Give it a nod again and say, Chrissy, I've had a lovely time. Chrissy, this has been great. I love this. <laughs> and then release her your hands, release your head and roll slowly up. Keep the knees soft and keep the weight into the balls of the feet. It's super important that you find that gorgeous stacked spine. Good, and at the top, just taking a couple of moments to feel that newly opened chest, that gorgeous long neck, that smiling, slightly pink little face, which means we've brought blood flow, we've opened it all up. I hope you feel fantastic, Sadie. I hope you feel fantastic at home. It's been great to lead you through this little session and we'll see you on the mat very soon.